Nicknamed the Smithsonian of the South, Raleigh is an amazing mid-sized city known for its research and museums. It's also one of the fastest growing cities in the country. In this series, I briefly cover a city's history, population, skyline, as well as a few things that make the city unique. Now let's meet Raleigh. I always like to start by exploring how a city wound up being where it is today. Unlike most cities that organically emerged and grew due to advantages of their geographic location, Raleigh was planned out before it was ever settled. After the Revolutionary War, some states decided to move their capital cities further inland to be safer from naval attack, and North Carolina selected a central site for its new capital of Raleigh in 1788. Raleigh was designed with a grid layout with the new capitol building at the heart of the city. The first state capitol building was completed in 1794 but only stood for 37 years before being burned down and was then replaced by today's state capitol building in 1840. Today, Raleigh has a population of around 476,000, making it the 41st largest city in the country. Raleigh anchors the second largest metro area in North Carolina, which is known as the Research Triangle. The three cities which make up the Research Triangle are Raleigh, Durham, and Chapel Hill. It's known as the Research Triangle because each of these cities has a prominent research university, NC State in Raleigh, Duke in Durham, and the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. The population of the Research Triangle is slightly over 2.1 million. There are many bioscience and technology companies located between the cities in what is known as Research Triangle Park, which has led to Raleigh being one of the fastest growing economies in the country. I'll talk more about Research Triangle Park later in the video. Some of the most recognizable companies headquartered in the Raleigh Metro are Advanced Auto Parts, Red Hat, and Burt's Bees. Call me shallow, but when it comes to cities, I think appearances matter, which is why evaluating a city's skyline is one of my favorite parts of making these videos. Raleigh has a fine skyline for a mid-sized city, and there are a good number of buildings either proposed or in development which could transform Raleigh's skyline in the next decade. If you took the average height of the city's tallest five buildings, it would be ranked as the 61st tallest skyline in the country, behind St. Petersburg, Florida, and ahead of Rochester, New York. The tallest skyscraper in the city is also my favorite looking building in the skyline, and that is the PNC Plaza at 538 feet in height. As I mentioned earlier, one of Raleigh's nicknames is the Smithsonian of the South. Part of the reason for this is because there are around 40 free museums and historic attractions in the area. One of the free attractions that stands out to me is the Museum of Natural Sciences, which is the most visited museum in all of North Carolina and is the largest natural science museum in the Southeast United States. One of the unique features of the museum is the giant globe, which houses a large screen on the inside. With the diameter of 70 feet, it is the second largest globe in the world, second only to the Unisphere in New York City. On the NC State campus is one of the most unique libraries in the world. The James B. Hunt Library was designed by the same premier architecture firm that designed the new Library of Alexandria in Egypt. The Hunt Library has been listed by the Washington Post as the top place to visit in Raleigh, not only because of its amazing architecture, but because it is considered to be a futuristic library on the inside. The 1.5 million books are actually kept in a separate room where they are retrieved by a robot known as a book bot anytime someone wants to check them out. This allows books to only occupy one-ninth the space as a regular library, which really opens up more space in the remainder of the library to be used for collaboration or various labs such as a gaming lab. Another free museum in the Raleigh area is the North Carolina Museum of Art, which has been ranked by Insider as one of the top 25 museums in the country. One of the interesting things about the museum is that it is located within a 164-acre park with trails and large public art installations. It's the largest museum art park in the country. Another park worth mentioning is Pullen Park, which is North Carolina's first public park. The park has a few small rides, which makes it the fifth oldest operating amusement park in the country. And now I need to circle back to another type of park, the Research Triangle Park. The Research Triangle Park is 7,000 acres, which makes it the largest research park in the country. 
There are over 300 companies that have locations within the park. Many of the companies in the park are in the startup phase, but some of the large companies that have locations within the park are IBM, Cisco, and Lenovo. And Apple is in the process of building a location within Research Triangle Park as well. Between Research Triangle Park and downtown Raleigh is the PNC Arena, which is home to the Carolina Hurricanes NHL team as well as the NC State men's basketball team. With a seating capacity of 19,500, it is the 8th largest arena in the NCAA. Another unique museum in the city is the Pope House Museum. The home is on the National Register of Historic Places because it once belonged to Dr. Manasseh Thomas Pope. Pope was a prominent African-American citizen who was an officer in the Spanish-American War and even ran for mayor of Raleigh during the Jim Crow era. The home has original artifacts and furniture, and like many museums in Raleigh, admission is free. And I'll finish by mentioning the building at the heart of Raleigh, the State Capitol Building. It's not the flashiest or the most memorable State Capitol Building, but it is one of the best preserved examples of Greek Revival style architecture in the country. Well, that wraps up my video about Raleigh. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and check out some of my other videos about cities. And if you have a city you'd like to see an overview on, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.